the signs, you know, a little bit of examples and the anti-aging protocol that I use is that I, in my clinic, I only use birth tissue derived MSCs, and these are minimally manipulated. I don't, you know, in, in the U S uh, if you expand the cells, you do any manipulation, then you have to participate in a IND study. This is why so many companies are going overseas. They're in Mexico, Panama. They're doing, you know, the, these expanded cell treatments. It sounds great that they're giving you 100 million, 200 million, 300 million cells. But when they grow cells in multiple generations, there could be deleterious changes they could decrease in potency and also gain more differentiation because oftentimes when they divide, they don't divide evenly into two stem cells. A lot of times the stem cells in culture, they would divide into one stem cell, one daughter cell. The daughter cell is more differentiated. And when it's more differentiated, then it has more surface receptors that can mark them as Jane or Joan, you know, they, they have their own characteristics. So your immune systems can destroy them, but they can also uh, trigger this immune rejection response. And this is probably why I've seen more side effects when people getting these large doses of stem cells overseas. Um, they often have to divide the doses, but um, because of the side effects, but even when you uh, divide it, the problem is that you could be priming somebody of these immune rejection, right? So we all know if you sensitize the body, so first infusion, your body just recognize, oh, oh my God, you got, give me something foreign. So I'm gonna build up these antibodies. And then a few days later, you give them a second injection. All of a sudden the body's like, I am ready to fight. So they're getting worse and worse rejection reactions, getting sicker, because you know, your body's trying to fight it off. And I've seen that using much less doses that's minimally manipulated, um, can achieve just as good, if not better results than what they're doing overseas. But it certainly sounds sexy that I'm giving you 200 million cells, right? Then giving you 10 million. So a lot of people buy into the hype. Um, anyhow, so what I do is um, that generally, you know, the, the product I use, one cc contains 2 million of these MICs. And I use that for every 60 pounds of body weight. And then I add another CC when somebody's over the age of 65 to 70 because they're more depleted, then I add more if they have severe health issues. And for anti-aging treatments, um, usually we do it, you know, between every three to six months. Um, you know, sometimes some people may want to do it every 12, 12 months, but generally these cells will live in your body for about three months. So if I give you some stem cells, their lifespan in your body is about three months, and then their effect may last another three months. So that's on average. So that's why we have the protocol of, of at least every six months when you want to do it for anti-aging purposes. So, you know, some of my patients are more aggressive. I do it every three months. Some of my patients do it every two months and I have, you know, someone want to do it every month. So um, at these kind of doses, you, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to overdose. Um, you know, it, I, I think it's just a matter of hitting a point of no extra benefit. Um, so you don't really need drastic doses. I prefer smaller doses, multiple treatments. I think that's going to give you waves of regeneration. So that's my talk. Um, you know, may you all live more years with vitality, right? We just want to live good years. <laughs>